The LLM hallucinates when the prompts lack specificity. End of day. It will not hallucinate if you keep your specific questions and you can actually confirm the answers are correct. It will never hallucinate. It's when you don't ask a specific question and you cannot confirm the specific answer and you allow it to move within that A, B, C, D. That's when you start getting hallucinations because you don't know if A, B, C, or D or any combination of A, B, C, D is the actual right way. Hey, it's Sean. Welcome to your weekly CHL feed. I'm here to talk to you about stopping hallucinations in your LLMs, making sure that you can get some actual output that you can use. Last time I was here, we were talking about grounding and how to use your own data to make sure that your LLM is a tethered. And now what we'll do is we'll compound on that. We'll talk about making sure that the LLM doesn't make things up, doesn't conflate things, and you can trust the data that comes out of it. All right. So the first thing that we have to do, step zero, we have to define what is a hallucination, right? What does it even mean? And at the end of the day, it's just constantly incorrect information. So everyone's been on Reddit. Everyone has talked to some people who just fully don't understand what they're talking about, but fully think that they do. The words that they're using make sense in the order that they're using them, but the concept that they're trying to get across doesn't or quoting statistics incorrectly. There's plenty of information out there that you can say, yeah, okay, I get it. This is just so confidently incorrect that it's, it's interesting, right? But why does this happen? What are we actually witnessing when we see a hallucination within an MLM? And I like to give examples of how these things work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at the country of France real quick, okay? And the reason is because it is a country that has a, a very clear uh, dichotomy of time and the LLM can get very confused by this if you don't give it context, okay? So France, right? There was king and then there was non-king, right? So you don't have to be a history buff about this. Like there was a time in France where they had kings. There was a time in France where they didn't have kings. Now, what we can do from this is we could discern there is context for questions about France if you wanted to know what was happening at any time or currently, right? So in Wikipedia, you could say well, capital of France, and then you're going to get pre-king, which is this one, and then you're going to get post-king, which is provisional seat to the government. So once the kings were no more and if France was a country, you now have a timeline, which is the actual capital cities of Paris over time. Okay, so king, no king, France, got it. Why does this matter? If you ask the LLM right now, what is the current capital of France, right? What is the current capital of France? It's going to answer you Paris. Why? Because its context is what I just showed you. Its context is France as a country. Current means chronological time. So like if you look at the training data, like it's a very simplified example, but this would be the training data of current data of France, right? So they look at this and they say over this much time, 1871 to 1945, here's the chronological history of France. But because we added the modifier in our prompt and we said the current capital, or honestly, if we just asked for the capital in any way that wasn't historical because the LLM will give us generally intention, it's going to do that. It's just going to wipe the context away and give an answer. Prompt, context answer. Now, this is fine when you have asked them either a specific question or a vague question of a lot of specific topic that is easily answered. And those are different things. But as long as there's enough data surrounding the question to get the intention of what you're actually looking for, uh, which is more than likely going to be the current capital of, of France, the LLM is going to be able to handle it. But the problem is when it starts hallucinating is when you ask the questions like this, what is the capital of France? Well, when, right? So now you have all of this as a data set. So now you have all of these contexts. Because remember, you have all of these points 
you have these individual points. So you ask, what is the capital of France? Because you assume that it would know you were asking for the current capital of France, right? That's not how this works. It doesn't have the context built in. So now, without using that modifier of current, you're getting all the different contexts. Context A, B, C, D, and all of the different connections of those contexts that come from the capital of France being in Versailles or Bordeaux versus Paris. So everything that happens, if the context trunk that it chooses is the capital of France is Bordeaux, then that means that everything in context around that is answering of September 1914. So if you ask that about like movies or anything about that, it's going to get in that chunk. Okay. So if you get into hunt chunk B here, then everything from there is going to get an output of that. Right. So if you say, what's the capital of France? And it says it's Bordeaux because you didn't give it a time frame. And it just for whatever reason decided that it wants to say it's pre World War One or after World War Two or whatever it is, depending upon too many variables that we don't control or even know. It's going to then give you all these different outputs, but it can't give you multiple outputs because that's against like its prime directive. Right. So it gives you output ABCD. So you've gone and asked it a simple question. What is the capital of France? And you've got in a matrix of answers. You've got in like Schrodinger's answer of it is the answer and it isn't the answer at the same time. So how do you fix this? What do you do? Well, you don't ask it, what's the capital of France? That's, that's not the way that you do this. First of all, you ground your information so that it is tethered to the ground with your own information so that when, when you do ask it the specific question, it can give you the specific answer. But you don't ask what is the capital of France. You ask it, what is the current capital of France? The more specific that you can get with the question, the better the answer is because it doesn't have the context of whatever it is that you're assuming it knows just doesn't know that it doesn't have those assumptions it doesn't have any sort of context other than what you give it for the input so when we build context by grounding that context can easily hallucinate unless you ask the specific questions that you need to get the output from the specific context of the llm so again don't ask what the capital of france is ask what the current capital of france is the LLM hallucinates when the prompts lack specificity. End of day. It will not hallucinate if you keep your specific questions and you can actually confirm the answers are correct. It will never hallucinate. It's when you don't ask a specific question and you cannot confirm the specific answer and you allow it to move within that A, B, C, D that's when you start getting hallucinations because you don't know if A, B, C, or D or any combination of A, B, C, D is the actual right way. So the thing that you have to do is make sure you ask a very specific question and you can confirm the answer for it. And then from there, you can start manipulating the system to scale that up. But if you're not asking the right questions, you're going to get the wrong answers. So next week, what we're going to do is we're going to go forward and we're going to look how to actually think multi-agent wise. So none of this is a problem. So you ground all of your data. You then go ahead and stop it from hallucinating and then break it out all into agents so that way you can confirm all the answers, even if you do get A, B, C, and D. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.